Hey guys, welcome into New World News. Today is uh, June 17th, Thursday afternoon, and if you didn't see, President Biden signed into law a new federal holiday. This is the first federal holiday since MLK, uh, Martin Luther King Jr. Uh, Day was established. This is the first national holiday in a long time, and uh, it's Juneteenth, and if you don't know what Juneteenth is, um, it is basically the anniversary of the freeing of the slaves after President Abraham Lincoln uh, announced the Emancipation Proclamation um, after the Civil War was over to free the slaves. So Texas actually uh, created this holiday in 1980. Now, the problem is, back during the Civil War, remember, um, the Union troops and uh, the Confederates in the South, mostly over, you know, we've got D.C. and the East Coast, all the major fighting over there on the coast, uh, you know, Fort Sumter, we've got South Carolina, we've got Georgia, we've got all this stuff. Texas was as far from the republic and the power of any state. There was no, you know, all these western states. They just barely exist or even knew they existed. So Texas is far away. So it actually took two years after the slaves were officially freed for Texas to finish freeing the slaves. And so if you're reading along in the story, I'll link it below for you guys to read. Um, when you scroll down... Uh, and again, 1980 is when Texas already had it as a state holiday. A lot of states already observe it. It just wasn't a federal holiday. Um, and so we go down here uh, is Union Major General Gordon Granger, over two years after the Emancipation Proclamation, arrived in Galveston. So if you don't know where Galveston is, it's on the coast. It's, it's down pretty far. Um, and declared that all the slaves must be freed. Uh, two years. Two years after it was official until Texas actually did it. So slavery ended in the other southern slates, uh, states before that, like Georgia and, and the, you know uh, Alabama, things like that. But because of how far Texas was from the Union's power center around D.C. and the Northeast, where the Union troops were, uh, there weren't enough Union soldiers to enforce Abraham Lincoln's order to free the slaves. So Texas knew that the slaves were free. They just didn't do anything about it because they knew that it would be almost impossible for enough Union soldiers to gather to come and try to enforce it because there were still uh, Confederate sympathizers in the South, especially in Texas. Texas was very, very Southern. They still are. Um, so Texas made uh, Juneteenth uh, officially a holiday in 1980. Uh, and most states eventually followed with at least some form of observance. There were uh, a unanimous Senate uh, passage in the Republican or in the uh, House of Representatives. There were 14 House Republican lawmakers, all Republican, uh, that voted against it. Now, several of them didn't vote against it because they didn't want it to be a holiday. They voted against it because they wanted to call it something different. Um, it is what it is. There are a few people who voted against it because they think that it's tearing up the country, it's dividing us, and it's just playing the race game. Uh, you know, look, here's the thing. I don't play the race card. I don't talk about race, you know, racism here. If there's a, a, a news story that the topic comes up in, fine, great, we'll discuss it. But, and this is clearly one, you know, slavery in the 1800s, Abraham Lincoln, it, it was ended way too late. It, they let it go on way too long. That was the whole reason this country, uh, you know, entered into a civil war. I mean, over people having slaves in the South and the the African Americans wanting to be a part of this country, and you know the North saying enough is enough, and the South saying you know stay out of our business. And so this is what all happened. And Abe Lincoln did a great thing, you know, telling people, look, it doesn't matter what color your skin is, we're we're all equally. Um, allowed to be a part of this country and work and own land and do all these things. Now, of course, voting laws and land ownership and all this stuff took many years to come around till more laws were passed. But uh, when we think about it only being 150 years, we're talking, what, 1865, 1870? So 1970, 2020, we're talking 150 years since this happened. We've come a long way in 150 years. And I think that, you know, people will still say we have a long way to go. And maybe they're right. Maybe they're not. But um, we, we've come, you know, you think back to Abraham Lincoln's time where you couldn't vote, you couldn't drive, you couldn't work, you couldn't own land, you couldn't do anything because of the color of your skin. And you think moving forward of all the successful African-American people we have in this country, and it was because of what Abraham Lincoln did that enabled a lot of the people that we know now 
to be, you know, the famous, the Michael Jordans and the Tiger Woodses and the Shaquille O'Neal's and the sports people and the poker players and the, the um, Damon John CEOs, you know, Shark Tank, all these guys that, that are African-American that are successful. They were able to do what they did because of what happened 150 years ago. So I'm absolutely okay with, you know, a holiday remembering exactly how we got to where we are now. Now, obviously in the 2020, 2021 climate, there are still, um, you know, this country is torn apart by the race uh, conversation, by police brutality, by shootings, by protests, Black Lives Matters, you name it. There's still a whole bunch of this other stuff going. But I'm putting all of that to the side right now. Um, and not to downplay anything else, but this holiday is focused on one thing, and that was the beginnings. The beginnings, uh, which were actually the end, uh, officially, in this country, of slavery. And so that's what Abe Lincoln did that's what they're celebrating. That's what the law was signed into, into uh, law today. The bill was signed into law today. I applaud that one. Um, and so be it. It doesn't matter that Joe Biden was the president or if Trump had signed it or anybody else, whoever signed it, it was, it deserved its federal holiday. So, uh, you know, there you go. Juneteenth is now an official federal holiday in the United States of America, uh, starting this 2021. Okay, I'll leave that story up. Feel free to comment below. If you have anything you want to add to it, say to it, things you think about it, um, you know, comment sections belong to you guys as always. I appreciate it. And uh, I'll check those and read them when I see them. And uh, if there's anything else you guys want, uh, please let me know. Give the video a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Real important, guys. Subscribe to the channel. It takes one second. Click the button. Subscribe. Turn the notifications on if you want notifications. Um, really, really help me build the channel up. I would love to get to 1,000 subscribers because once you hit that, YouTube really pushes you up in the algorithm and um, it would really help the channel. So I do appreciate that and I'll see you guys in the next video.